Okay, so welcome everyone. Debbie and I are so, so excited to um, have you guys in this group and be able to share this experience with you. This has been the most rewarding part of what we do is just being able to actually connect with people and see our lives change together as we work in this stuff. <laughs> Health and fitness, but also life. So, first off, um, we'll just kind of introduce, I want you to just kind of introduce yourself and tell us um, maybe why you joined the group and what you're hoping to get from it. So, how about we start with Debbie? Woohoo! Okay, so I'm a coach too in the group. And I've been doing this since February 2017. And I started on my journey because I was just in a funk. Yeah. I needed something more. I needed something to bring out that happiness, that joy, that fulfillment. I needed to lose about 40 pounds of yeah. baby weight. And now, I've done now. that. I've grown and evolved. And um, I'm just happy to be here, happy to maintain my lifestyle in this group and be able to reach new goals and heights and support all of you, you cute girls and help you get to your, um, get your best results, but also just feel good and be empowered to make your life whatever you want. So. Awesome. Allison. Hi, so I'm Allison Trope. Um, I live in South Jordan, Utah. So I started this journey in January. Um, I finished my MBA last year. Um, and so I was working full time, going to school in the evenings. So it was Chick fil A twice a week, which, as it turns out, you can't eat Chick fil A twice a week for two years and like not gain weight. So, <laughs> anyway. Dang um, it. <laughs> So after I graduated, uh, I just kind of wanted to, you know, I, I had more time and I kind of wanted to just have more energy, figure out how to eat healthier and just, I've always enjoyed working out. So I wanted to, you know, kind of get active. So I, I definitely, wow. uh, so six months later today, I officially lost 30 pounds. Yeah. So, awesome. Yeah. You're, you're. You're rocking this thing. <laughs> I love doing this with you. Oh, it's so fun. I love it. Awesome. All right, Tanya, all right, do you need, are you okay to go now? You're the next on my uh, screen. I'm here. I got people asking me questions. Yeah, we're trying to get dinner on. Don't worry about me. Okay. Uh, I'm Tanya. I live in Oregon and I am also a coach, but not like a coach in the group. So, um, I started this journey Thanksgiving of last year, and I started doing, um, I started by doing 21 Day Fix. Carter, and, um, I am down, I gotta think, I started at 135, and I, as of this morning, am 116, so almost the full 20 pounds. So or I can't remember. Don't judge my math right now. I can't keep track. <laughs> but awesome. I wanted to do this because like you, Rebecca, I was just in a funk. I, I wanted to be, I just felt like I was dragging all the time and I knew I was, I lived an unhealthy lifestyle and I also didn't really know how to exercise in a way that was effective to my body. So I am loving, I'm loving these programs and just loving being a part of this. So yeah, that's it. Awesome. All right, Rebecca, how do you say your last name? Is it Ho? Yeah. Oh. Um, so, so, yeah, you never really know. I, I always say Ho like Christmas, like Ho, Ho, Ho. Oh yeah. <laughs> Totally. I'm new to this, newly married into the whole life, so <laughs> got to <get> to it. <laughs> um, so I have been doing this for two days. Yeah. Just started. Um, Rebecca Butterfield had reached out to me, and so I was like, "Sure, I should probably do something." 
Um, I love to walk and kind of do things on my own, but I've never been, I like, I don't like going to the gym. I've never been like really good at like a super strict schedule. I do like Pilates off and on, but not really anything that's like work out every single day or, or a stick to a set schedule. So, um, and then also like my, I like to eat healthy. No, I should be eating healthy, but you know, don't always do it. Um, I tend to eat too much sugar. So that's one thing I'm trying to keep an eye on. So I think this program has been helpful so far as far as like really thinking about my nutrition um, and then actually getting those workouts in and feeling like I'm at least building some muscle at this point and um, hoping to lose some weight and build that lean muscle too. So I felt like a good fit. Awesome. Tell us a little bit about you. You're from Washington. Or- yeah, I'm originally from Montana, but then I've been out here in Washington, close to the Seattle area um, for the about the past six years. I went to college out here and then just stayed here, ended up getting married, met my husband out here. Um, since then, my immediate family has moved out here, so it kind of seems like Washington's where we'll be um, for the foreseeable future. Um, I am a nurse and I work with elementary students and preschoolers. I'm doing school nursing right now. So it's a it's a good challenge, but um, something I enjoy so far. Only one year in, so we'll see where this next year goes. Um, other than that, really like music and art and kind of fitting those things into my into my schedule and lifestyle too. We were meant to be as I was telling you, because I mean, your name for one, but nurse <laughs> Rebecca, it just works. <laughs> Glad that we met. It's so fun having you. It's fun to be here. <laughs> All right, Michaela. Oh, hi. Um, so I'm Michaela. I'm from Pennsylvania. Um, I just joined in May and I had been like praying about doing something. I really struggled with mental health. And I needed something I could do from home, and I'd been praying and praying. Rebecca reached out to me, and I was like, okay, like, this is real weird, but it feels right. So I'm just going to, like, jump in and go for it. And I did, and for the last three months, I haven't had any mental health struggles. And for me, that's, like, my number one reason that's pushing me, because for a while there I was really struggling in my marriage and everyday life and there were days when I couldn't be home alone and days when I had to have someone come stay with me at night because I just wasn't stable. So to be stable finally, be able to be in my own home at night by myself has been amazing and to watch it heal my marriage has been amazing too. Um, I have lost weight doing it. I'm down about 14 pounds so like that's pretty great too because I was getting kind of like pretty chubby there from staying home for so long so it really helped (laughs) that's so awesome you guys are so great love it Michaela that's such an awesome story I'm so glad you shared with us I know it's true it really does bring it home when you see how much I mean losing weight is one part of it and like the physical changes but we'll talk in a a little bit just how it trickles into everything else in our life so thanks for sharing Kayla oh my parents home right now oh hi um sorry did it catch that I just saw it said unmuted yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay. Okay. Um, so I kind of started with Beach Body last year, but I didn't really do much with it. And um, so I have three kids. And after my first two pregnancies, I was super lucky. I just ate whatever I wanted and I actually lost weight after I had the babies. But with this one, I gained a bunch of weight and it stayed on. And I've slowly been gaining and gaining. And I just feel like I've been in kind of a funk this last year. And, um, I'm just here to really just hopefully change that and work on exercise and nutrition and all that I really feel can help with everything else and, um, and hopefully be a good example to my kids as well. Awesome. Love it. So happy to have you. How about you, Becca? Oh, let me unmute you. There we go. Okay. (laughs) I got it. 
<laughs> um, well, so I am one of those rare breeds. Can guys like, I'm on the opposite spectrum of things where I struggle gaining weight. <laughs> um, so this is kind of a thing for me to work out, gain some muscle, and to focus more on what I'm eating because I don't. <laughs> Well, I eat well, like I eat a lot of vegetables and all that, but I kind of just, you know, run about shoving vegetables in my mouth and just go about my day <laughs> and kind of crazy like that. So um, it's kind of one of those things for me to actually focus on what I'm eating and what, what I'm putting in my body, what it's doing to me and things like that. So this is more for me to gain weight gain muscle, and also learn about nutrition. So, yeah, I'm a rare breed. I know. I'm one of those that are like, you're in this program to gain weight. Like, are you serious? But yes, it's true. <laughs> no, that's, that's great. That's awesome. I love when you can recognize that it's like about more than just people. that Like when, they, when people look at you, it's like, oh, you don't need to worry about what you eat. You're like, yes, I do. Yeah, I do all the time. But there's, there's the healthy, like feeling healthy, someone who's thin, like just as much as someone who maybe needs to lose some weight, like there's room for improvement with just to help us feel better, you know? Yeah, definitely. And I've definitely felt um, a huge change already in my fitness. Like I used to lay awake um, every night before I went to sleep and my mind was just turning and I just couldn't go to sleep. And now since I've cut out carbs, like the last meal, um, and also, um, you know, FFCs, and also working out, it's really, like, made it so that I am, like, going down every night. Like, I don't even have to worry. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm totally going to sleep well tonight. It's going to be fine. So, it's good. That's, that is so awesome. Love it. Cassidy. Hey. I can't Hi. see you. But we, we're just going through hearing from everyone kind of a brief introduction of who you are and why you're here with us, what you hope to gain. So I started, I believe, in like May. And I've struggled since I've been married, so almost six years ago, with gaining weight and not eating right and just being terrible. And I started... And it is unrealistic how different my body has changed just from eating healthier. I mean, everything. And it's, I didn't think I could do it, but I, I have, it's, it's crazy. I feel like I have more energy. I, I don't know. It's just crazy. But yeah, Cassidy, I'm loving it. How much weight have you lost, Cassidy? I've lost 20 pounds. I can't break under that 20 pound mark. I don't know what it is, but I've lost 20 pounds so far. And that's just with to be mindset, right? Correct. Yes. Awesome. Thanks. Love it. Welcome everyone. Thanks. Debbie, do you want to go over the packet info a little bit? Yeah, so you all, I'm sure, minus probably Rebecca, because you're so new, um, got your packs already. Make sure you open them up, see what's in them, go through them, make sure you go through all of the, you can do this on BOD too, go through the nutrition plan, make sure you do all your measurements, your pictures, um, you'll want all of that at the end of this. And then, um, so go through all of those resources, pick a workout program that you want to do. Um, if you need help picking one, reach out to your coach. We're happy to help you. Um, there's also the cooking show called Six Eight. Awesome recipes on there. Um, and then we also have our blog, Beachbody blog. There's tons of information on there. Um, and then in your pack, you probably have um, Shakeology or Performance Line. And those are things you want to take every day. Those are going to fuel your body while you're working out. They're going to give you the sustained energy that you need. They're going to um, fuel your muscles after you work out. Their Shakeology can help anywhere from energy and digestive health and um, cuts the cravings down and makes you feel full longer. And it's just a solid, dense nutrition that you can have every day as a snack or a meal replacement. Um, and then... 
I don't know. Is there anything else as far as the pack goes? Um, I think that was, that was it. As far as the welcome, like email, did all of you guys get the welcome email that goes through kind of the information included? Did any of you have questions about any of that? It was, yeah, go, Michaela. Um, so the bands that came with it, I have someone who's allergic to latex. What should I have them do? Um, that's a good question. Does she have weights? Dumbbells? Mm -hmm. Have her use dumbbells because those are just modifiers in case you don't have the dumbbells. So. All right. Yeah, that's pro that's, that's a good point though. <laughs> um, so in the packet, we talk about Shakeology. There's a link there if you're wanting to just learn more about it. Um, there's a link about Performance Line. Um, personal development, I've talked about it in the group some. Um, guys, this book, oh my goodness, it's awesome. So our plan is to go through, there's 15 laws that he talks about in here. It's a fairly short read, or if you listen to it, we're going over the first law this week, is, and then we we'll do two each week from here through the next seven weeks to get done with the, the 15. So we'll touch on them, like in our posts, or you know, try to integrate them into our check-ins and things like that. Um, but it just gives you kind of a guideline. So this week is um, a lot of intentionality. And you guys, I want you to share as you learn things in the book, share what you're learning with us. Um, I just love the idea that we get to grow. Like the moment we stop growing, we, we stop um, like progression. I mean, so we're all in a place where we want to grow and we want to become better. And so this, this book is just highlighting different ways that we can do that. And it kind of opens your mind to how you can apply um, a growth mindset in your sphere, in your life. So please, please, please incorporate at least a little bit of this per personal development each day. Um, because we are complex creatures and you can go on a crash diet and lose 20 pounds. But if you don't incorporate habits that include your mindset, you're, you're not going to sustain these habits as well, if that makes sense. So as we are conditioning our bodies through these hard workouts, we're, we're sweating, we are trying to control our cravings. We're, you know, trying to work on our nutrition, we're feeling better, we're feeling those benefits. We, we are gonna be so much more successful as we condition our minds and our mindset. And it really is um, a practice in just building those positive habits too, through positive personal development and also positive affirmations. I know I mentioned it, um, it was in the, the how to start your morning right um, post earlier this week, but personal aff or positive affirmations are so key to helping us. Like our minds are like a stage, and whatever we fill them with is what's going to be there. So if we're thinking, oh man, like we're spiraling down, like I got off the wagon, I'm just going to go and you know eat a whole container of Oreos or whatever. Like that's your mindset, right? So this personal development, these positive affirmations saying, okay, maybe I had French fries at dinner. So what? Let's hop on and do better the next day. And so that's what this group is for. Like we do not expect perfection. We are all like going through this together and there are going to be ups and downs, but I can guarantee you the people who are staying the most consistent and like in the group are the ones who are staying on their journey if that makes sense like so don't feel like you have to drop off if something like don't feel like you have to hide we don't want any shame in this group 
like so just just know that we're all here to work on this together and if you slip up so what tomorrow's a new day that's what our philosophy is so and lean into the group this is where we want to see you guys this is where we want to support you and love on you and build friendship and community and it's a safe place where you guys can share your the positive you know and the things that you struggle with and not be judged so this is where becca and i are going to be helping you and supporting you so this is where you should be if you want help on your journey kind of a thing <laughs> yeah for sure um, a couple things to touch on um there is an opportunity that debbie and i wanted to talk to you about with joel the trainer he's hosting a group that um is open to anyone who signs up with the coach loyalty account and I don't um, I just wanted to make sure because I can't remember who I've communicated that to and who I haven't but no matter how you signed up challenger or coach um, you can still get in that coach if you want mentoring from him <laughs> um, and it's incredible. So he's he's going through, we've all started this group now and this program and there are questions that come up and he's in that group answering questions, going live, talking to us about what we're experiencing, um, you know, the nutrition questions and everything. So there's so much value in, if you think about it, like it's, I mean, you have access to the trainer of this program, like he created this program. It's you know, more than a personal trainer type of experience when you get access to him and all of that. So that's there um, if you do have a coach account. So I put that in the, in the email. Um, so there's a link to request to join the group um, if you have a coach account. If you don't have a coach account, you can still get one if you want and get into that group um, by the end of July. So that's that. Um, and along the lines of the, let's see what else we had. The coach account, sometimes that scares people. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, do I have to like all of a sudden like start my own group or whatever? And you can join as a coach just to get into the group. You can join to get the 25% discount on your um, products each month to help you just stay consistent on your journey um, or you can rock it out with us and join our team and, and do this coaching thing and share it with people it's a way of paying it forward and I know for me I guess I could give a little background right I let I we chatted with everyone else for me I joined um, a year ago April and I signed up as a coach initially, not really knowing what it was all about, but I just knew that I'd, I needed a change and I still had like 10 or 15 pounds of baby weight. And for me, what helped me fall in love with the whole process was personal development. Um, just learning that there's so much more to life and that as a coach, that is one of the things, one of the pillars of what we do is developing ourselves so that we can help develop other people. And I fell in love with that idea. And as I started implementing it and seeing changes and you know, people reaching goals and just helping other people, it just lit me up inside. <laughs> and so, um, it's just an awesome way to share your journey and stay accountable. I know it's helped me stay accountable since I, I joined. I've been able to work out five or six days a week since last April. So um, did you want to say anything on that, Debbie? I just think the same thing. Like I think that never in my life would I have imagined I would be workout queen six days a week. And it's not perfect every day, but when I'm showing up, and talking about it on social media, I best be doing it because I'm saying that I'm going to help other people. And so it really held me accountable to make sure I'm getting my workout in. I'm staying consistent. I'm eating right. It's not perfect, but I'm doing better than I was before I started. So it's definitely been 
a blessing in my life to grow mentally, physically, and emotionally as I'm coaching and helping other people on their journey. So. Amen. All right. Well, that was kind of the extent. We have about eight more minutes. Um, I wanted to open it up for any questions um, and any like goals that you guys have that you want help, you know, help with or support with. It's kind of open. I guess um, I did have a couple things. Um, who has felt like stretched so far this week with with the workouts and the nutrition? It's a good feeling, isn't it? It's cool. It's it's like this this awesome feeling. I did. I wanted to share. Um, I actually am, I'm almost done with the Fifteen Laws book. I'm. I loved it. I listened to it in the shower and almost got done today. <laughs> But we're going to feel stretched. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be challenging at times. But I loved this quote. It says, growth doesn't come from staying in your comfort zone. You can't improve and avoid change at the same time. And, um, and then he says, if you've ever settled for the status quo and then wondered why your life isn't going the way you'd hoped, then you need to realize that you'll only reach your potential if you have the courage to push yourself outside your comfort zone and break out of a mindset of mediocrity. So I want you guys to think about what you want out of this group and what you're willing to put into it. And when I say group, I mean your, your experience, but also supporting each other. Like we have the opportunity to do this together. And that's what makes this, come alive more than just doing it in a room in your home by yourself. Um, so just kind of consider that as we jumpstart this, this week and this program, um, like what are some of your goals? They don't all have to be fitness goals. Um, what do you want out of life? What do you want out of your workplace? What do you want for your family? Um, what kind of person do you want to be for your children and for, um, the people that you love. I know for me, I want to be a more patient wife and mother, and I want to be able to have the energy to run around with my kids, and I want to be able to have the stamina to work my 12-hour shifts at the hospital, and I, you know, there are so many things that I want out of life related to um, health and just being healthy. So I don't know. Do you, do any of you guys just want to share like maybe some things that are on your heart that you hope to get out of this group or it's open? Go. Cool. Like testimony meeting at church. <laughs> I'll just, I'll share, you know, like I'm, I'm not new to this, but you know, like I've been just amazed at like how much is just like, helped my life in general, you know, like, my husband and I were talking today, like, I don't even enjoy cooking, you guys, but that's actually not true anymore, but it was true for the last, like, 28 years of my life, so, you know, like, it's funny how things change when you kind of get into a groove, and, like, I told my husband, turns out it wasn't that I didn't like cooking, I just didn't like the food I was eating, you know, and now that I'm eating good food that's healthy, like, I actually enjoy cooking it, and I enjoy meal planning, so, it's funny how, like, you know, I went into Beachbody thinking it's just like, oh, like, it's just a bunch of cool workouts, but at the end of the day, like, it's, it's a lot more than that. Yeah, do you want to share really quick, um, just a brief, I don't know, like, how you've incorporated this in your life. I know I reached out to you wanting you to highlight a few things. Just tell us a few things you thought of to share. Yeah, so I mean, a, a few things, you know, like the, the workouts, you know, like working out every single day, six days a week. Um, you know, it's just, it, it gets you into routine. I'm a morning workout person. Um, and I'm not typically a morning person. I enjoy sleeping, but um, it's funny how once I started waking up and kind of getting into the routine, 
I can't imagine not doing that now because like it's just a part of my day and I enjoy it and the energy I get during my workout like that's my me time like I don't think about anything during my workout I just work out and like it's kind of like cathartic like you know just get up get you know get it done um and it's funny because my husband even started doing it uh, about two months after I started. He's kind of like, I kind of want to do something too. So he's been doing T25 and he does it every single day too. And so it's just this kind of journey we went on together. Uh, and two months ago, we went to China for two weeks and we did yoga almost every single day in China <laughs> because we didn't want to like give that up, you know, but we also didn't want to do anything too hardcore. So it was yoga. But you know, it was really nice. It was fun. It was fun to do it together. That's so awesome. You are such an awesome example. Thank you. Anyone else have any thoughts? We have three minutes. Anything you're excited about? I'm pretty excited to gain some muscles because today I really learned I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh you do. Like you're, you're adorable. <laughs> it's true. I think we're all going to bulk up. I mean, not bulk up like men, but we're going to really show ourselves what we're made of with this program. It's already like, and I've been doing this for a year ago, April, and I'm waking up sore every morning and like pushing myself. That's what I love. It's just constantly growing and getting better. And, <sighs> so fun. Well, and everything like just gets better. Like you would think after doing it, like Becca said for a year, like it wouldn't be challenging, but I'm holding five pound weights and I'm like, I can't do anymore. <laughs> so I love that each program like helps you get closer to the goals that you want. So yeah, you don't, don't right. plateau in this, in these programs at all. For sure. I feel like everything, every program I've done, I'm like, this is the best. How can it get any better? Like this meal plan rocks. And then I'm like, oh, I guess I should try the next one. I'm kind of like a coach. So I should probably do it so I can help other people. And then I'm like, and then I fall in love with that one. And I just keep falling in love with the newest thing just because it stretches me in a different way. So we have the opportunity to just learn and grow together. And I'm so excited. So hopefully um, you guys are super pumped and um, thanks so much for jumping on the call and just stay plugged into the group, support each other. This is a, an awesome community and I'm excited to get to know you guys even better. So thanks again. And hey, don't forget prizes. We have oh. prizes. Oh yeah. Um, shoot, how do we decide prizes? I don't know. We didn't think about that. <laughs> okay. um, How about the first person on the call? The first person that jumped on with us and then, I don't know. Okay. Um, Allison was the first one. <laughs> okay, Debbie, you get to decide. We're doing two. Okay, I think Rebecca Ho gets it because this is her second day <laughs> and she's already here and she's showing up. <laughs> awesome, love it. Love it. Okay, well, thanks so much, you guys, and we'll see you in the group. So fun seeing all of your faces. <laughs> see you. Have a good night.